Hello again and welcome to another video. We're going to continue our WordPress training series. Um, in the video before this, and you, you might want to watch these videos sequentially, um, they should be numbered. We went over the general and writing subcategories in the settings area in the back end of WordPress. And now we're going to go over the reading settings. And this is a pretty straightforward page. There's very few things to change here. Um, but right here, front page displays, this is the area that changes what is the first thing that users see. And that's a very common question. People ask, well, you know, I want this page to show first, or how do I change it to another page? And basically, you do that here. Um, if you're creating posts, uh, like, like a blog is, and it's dynamic content that you update daily, for example, if you have this radio button checked, then what it will do is you, the first page that people see will be a whole list of all the things that you've written, usually with the most recent first. Or you can select the second one here, which is a static page. And in a later video, we're going to get into making pages and posts and what the difference there is. Um, but if you click this, then it allows you to select which page or post that you want to show first. And right now, as you can see in this drop-down box, we only have an About page, which comes as a default page with your standard installation of WordPress. But if you created more pages, then basically this drop-down list would be longer, okay, and you could select from there. And the same on your post page. Um, of course, we only have one, which is about, but if you were making a bunch of posts, then that would show up in this list as well. Um, otherwise, you'd select your latest post radio button to show the most recent or a uh, kind of a list of your most recent posts. Now, the first option here is by far the most common that you see with blogs. However, that's no rule. Um, you can certainly have a static page. Um, that tells about what your blog is about or what your web page is about. Again, WordPress doesn't have to be used just for a blog. It can, it, and it often is used to make, uh, you know, really basic dynamic websites. So um, you also get to select how many blog pages show at most. The syndica syndication feeds show the most recent, and they're both by default set at 10. And then for each article in a feed, you got two radio buttons. One is for full text and one is for summary. So obviously, if you have a bunch of feeds, a lot of content to not overwhelm your user, you may want to click summary. If it's just a few feeds uh, that you're bringing content in with, then you may just want to select full text. And the encoding for the pages, I would leave that at UTF-8. It even recommends it here. So really, on the reading set setting, the only one that uh, people really change a lot or have a big question about is this area right here what and this is what controls the very first page that people see moving on after reading is the discussion settings okay and basically this is going to pertain to how people interact with your site and uh, what levels and limits they would have in doing so so um, the default things are radio buttons that are checked up here are some notification options and the cool thing about these is these settings can be overridden for any individual article. Um, some other things you may want to look at, for example, users must be registered and logged in to comment. Uh, if you want to cut down on spam, then I would you know, recommend you check in that box. Um, but basically, the, this is very self-explanatory. Just if you read the description next to it, the radio button is going to signify whether you want that on or off. And you've got these options to um, to select. And again, basically, the discussion settings are going to control the level of interactivity that you have with users. And just understand this is a double-edged sword because obviously the uh, looser you make it, or you know, if you were to uncheck this and allow you know anybody to, anybody to comment, for example, um, obviously you're going to open yourself up to spam and some other other bad things like that. <clears throat> but then again, you're also going to have your site grow in content a little bit quicker in theory. So just some things to think about, but uh, this is all totally up to you on how you want to do that. And um, we're going to go ahead and cut this video here, and we're going to move on to the media and privacy sections next in the next section. So I'll see you then. Bye.